Hey everyone, I'm Mick, and this is my TAG CNC mill. Uh, this is a heavily modified machine. This has a frame from Stuart Andrews that I will make another video about later. Uh, but this video I want to focus about the uh, Z carriage. And I made some modifications to it, I'll show you up close. And it really allows it to uh, move very easily and make the adjustment process much easier. On the TIG Z carriage design, this surface here, the side, and this surface here control the left to right tilt of the carriage. So this face, this face, this face, and this face, those four faces control the tilt this way. On the side, uh, you would squeeze this. These holes are slotted, so this can move in or out. You would squeeze this just the right amount to get the right grip tension on this way. And then on this part of the way, there's a brass gib. There it is, there's a brass gib inside there that if you tighten the top screw, if you tighten the top screw, it squeezes the gib. If you tighten the lower screw, it widens the gib. So that'll give you more play. So here it is, I just took it off the mill. And the inside of it, you can see the gib here. And it's on a taper. So this is the top side. When I tighten the screw, it pushes the gib down, which pushes it out towards the center line and tightens it. Uh, the modifications I made on this, uh, this screw here threads into here, up to here, and it squeezes this. And that's an idea I saw on the Take Facebook group uh, by a guy named Jason. Uh, I added to his idea and I added uh, these two threaded holes and inside is a set screw. Here's a set screw. It's a 1032 by half inch long set screw. Of particular note, it has a flat bottom uh, instead of a cup point, which is what they usually have. So that's what the flat point means. Uh, and the purpose of that is it will push down on, on this surface here. So this screw here pulls it up and these two screws here push it down. And the three will make a straight line so you can adjust this in or out. And it makes uh, adjusting the system really easily. Uh, I don't know if these two screws, these two set screws were necessary, but uh, I decided to do it from the get-go and it does seem to work really well. If you wanna make it the same way I did it, um, this hole to this face is one quarter of an inch. And that puts you in line with this screw. And in the other direction, uh, the hole to this face is three quarters of an inch. That's parallax we're seeing, which puts you in line with these holes. And it's also three quarters of an inch from this edge. Uh, I'll have still pictures later on in the video of how I uh, machined all these parts. I actually just had it adjusted perfectly on the mill, uh, but I wanna start from the beginning and go through the process. Uh, so I'm gonna loosen everything. And you can see uh, as I tighten this, it lifts the surface. Now it's as loose as it can get. The gib is loose, so it'll go sideways. And these are all loose, so it'll go this way. And uh, all these screws are loose. Uh, so I want to make sure all these mounting holes are tight. Uh, make sure these are clean. And apply oil.
I already applied oil, so I don't need much more. Front, back, side, side, front, back. Uh, I actually have the wrong oil here. You're supposed to use whey lube, which I have at home, and I just forgot to bring it today at the office. But it doesn't matter for right now. Okay, this goes on the top. Now the whole thing will fall. All right. It's very loose in this direction and left to right. So I'm gonna work on this direction first. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the side screws just finger tight. both sides those screws don't actually adjust anything but they do need to be finger tight for the next step and then I want to tighten this here till and it's gonna squeeze it on this till it locks so right now it's balancing Okay, and that was, that's just finger tight, a little bit more than finger tight, and it locked, okay? This side is still loose, but this side is tight enough that it doesn't drop. And then I'm gonna take the other Allen keys, and I'm gonna tighten the set screw. I, I just made contact, okay? And then here, I just made contact. Now from that point, I'm gonna turn this maybe an eighth of a turn, or no, maybe a sixteenth of a turn. Just a hair, just, just a little bit, and then do the same to the bottom one. Just try to get a feel for it, just a little bit, and it just drops. So that's it. This side is adjusted now. And let me tighten these, not all the way tight, but a little bit more to make sure that doesn't change anything. It shouldn't, but sometimes when you put clamping pressure on things, it shifts. Okay, now I'll do the same to the other side. So I'm going to tighten the middle screw. Till it locks it in place. Yeah, that's all it took. And you, you know, I can barely put any torque. You saw where my hands were. And then with the set screws, I'm going to go Till it touches, it touched right there. It touched right there. So now I'm gonna go just, just a hair, maybe a, probably less than a 16th of a turn, just, just like that. And then do the same thing here. Okay, and there it goes, it drops. Now I'm gonna tighten these screws. Just a little bit more, not all the way. All right, that feels great. Uh, so now I'm gonna tighten these side screws all the way. Okay, so the front to back tilt is adjusted now. That's good. Now we have to do the left to right tilt or the right, left to right slop and we have to push the gib down. We have to push the gib down. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same process. I'm gonna tighten this gib screw until it doesn't fall on its own. And then I'm gonna back off a little bit. And I have to loosen the lower one.
Okay, now it's locked in place. No, no hands. I'm going to tighten the lower one just till it's snug. And then I'm going to loosen the upper one to loosen it a little bit. And tighten the lower one the same amount. Sometimes it gets needs a little hit. So this feels pretty good. When I let it go, it doesn't drop. Just a hair. That might be right where I want it. If I wanted a hair looser, I can loosen the top just a hair and tighten the bottom just a hair. Yeah, that feels really good. So I don't feel any slop here, left to right or front to back. It feels really solid. So ha having a, this screw and this screw to pull it tight, and then these four set screws to separate it really made it easy to adjust this. So I'm quite pleased with this. We'll see how it holds up over time. But as of, as of now, this seems like a really nice way to adjust it. And when you are doing this, I'd recommend removing the whole screw and everything so you can, you can do this easily. Uh, and then you would just pop it off the top and uh, reattach your screw, your ball screw here. And then you can you can get it back on without too much of an issue. That's all for this episode. It was fun making this little modification and it seems to really make adjusting the Z simpler. Thanks for watching. See you next time.